Okay, long-awaited gaming update video for you guys. And don't get me wrong, I love the Wii U. I love it. I think the system is fantastic. I love the interface. It's one of my favorite interfaces of any console this generation so far. I love the games on it so far. And what gets me about the, the Wii U is that it reminds me of this little guy right here. The Nintendo GameCube. And the Nintendo GameCube has to be probably one of my most favorite consoles of all time, if not my favorite console of all time. Now, I remember getting the GameCube about a year after it released, and I originally had gotten the PlayStation 2 first, and then the Xbox, and then the GameCube was the last one to get. So, it was very interesting how it all played out. I was really interested in this for a couple of reasons. The GameCube always interested me, but I wasn't too big on it when it was first announced, or the games, or the launch lineup for that matter. Uh, not many people were, but over time, the GameCube developed a reputation for having some of Nintendo's greatest games. And by that, I mean some of the greatest franchises on there. Metroid Prime, Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, the Rogue Squadron series, the list goes on and on, Pikmin, you name it. So. What I want to do with this video is pretty much go down why I love my GameCube so much and why I love the Nintendo GameCube so much. And the reason being was that it was, I feel like, I don't know, I, I just didn't like the Wii. I, I don't know, I mean, I got the Wii at launch day. We even lined up for it at uh, Toys R Us in New York, New York Times Square. And it, when I got it, it was, it was all right, you know what I mean? It was cool, it was just like a GameCube, but it looked a little weirder. I don't know, something about the Wii just didn't fly with me. I don't know if it was because the controller or the forced motion controls. And I'll be, I'll go on record and say right now that I fucking hate motion controls. Like, especially if they're forced on the player, I really do hate them. And it's, it's, I'm no stranger to it. I take a controller, a standard controller with buttons any day of the week over motion controls, over waggle, over this. Please stop, stop, stop. Oh my gosh. So, anyways, the Nintendo GameCube, I got this one off eBay, and it was um, actually a little, it was worse for wear. It had a, the reset button was a bit of an issue. It was stuck, and it wasn't working. So, I had to open up the console, clean out the fans, actually myself. I even got the game pit screwdriver for it, and I fixed the reset button, so the reset button works again. And other than that, this console is in pretty decent condition. Now, it's funny because the original console it had of the Nintendo GameCube, I had the indigo color. My father, when he got it for me, he was like, you want the black one? The black one looks cooler uh, than the purple one. And I was like, Psh. I love the purple one. Give me the purple one, damn it. The indigo one looks so cool. It, it, I thought it looked fantastic, simply because it was different. And I loved colorful consoles at the time, and everything was kind of like black, gray, black, gray, black, gray. Everything was black and gray back then, so the fact that Nintendo had the balls to release a purple indigo console at the time was very awesome on their part, and I loved it. And hell, this thing even has a freaking handle on it, that's pretty sweet. So. Yeah, I love the GameCube. I simply love it. Uh, definitely one of my favorite consoles of all time. Now, as you can see here, although I haven't screwed it back in, I uh, have the Game Boy Player attachment to it as well. And you also need the disc for it, which I do have. This cost a pretty penny, but it didn't cost too much. And, uh, well, I'll just show you my GameCube collection. How about that? Now, my GameCube collection started off small, but <laughs> within the past month, and I literally mean within the past month, it's grown exponentially and you're gonna see right now my gamecube collection is 10 times bigger than it used to be and that's okay and what's cool is is that i even have the component cable coming in the mail being repaired by uh, uh somebody that went online and uh, the component cable for this was really really expensive and i don't want to talk about that right now that's a different story for another time but let's start off with the gaming lineup so far and i'm gonna go in alphabetical order hopefully and uh, show you what games I have for it so far. And if you guys are interested in a video of any of these games, please let me know because I will be more than happy to actually make like a let's play or something for any of these titles. 
love the GameCube. Moving on. Anyways, so let's start off with Animal Crossing. Love that game. I ordered recently Battalion Wars. It's a game I've always wanted to play when it was first announced, but I never got a chance to. And now that I'm playing it, it's really fun, really cute. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, a game I've always wanted to play growing up. I remember seeing the commercials for this and I was like, wow, this game looks so cool. Eternal Darkness, oh yes. F-Zero GX, such a great game. Really hard. So I have Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and I've never played Geist. It is actually a really interesting premise. Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, and I originally played this on the GameCube, and the GameCube was pretty much where I started playing this. That's where it was originally launched, after all. Then it was ported to the Xbox. Xbox had the better version. Uh, I have two copies of Kirby's Air Ride, and um, it's funny is that, because the replacement copy came in today. I actually ordered this on eBay, and then it was busted. The disc, re the disc is just scratched to shit, and uh, this green error abound. The guy was like, you know what, save your time, save your money, I'll give you a refund and you can hold on to the copy, or just throw it out. So I held on to it, um, it's got the manual, and the replacement doesn't. And I played the replacement and it works just fine, so, yeah, gotta get back to him on that. Luigi's Mansion! Now, despite what I said in my Wii U unboxing, uh, I'm not a hater of Luigi, I actually love Luigi, and I'll be honest with you guys, I was really... You know, in Super Mario Advance 2, Super Mario World, I played the entire game with Luigi. Not Mario, Luigi, because I preferred Luigi in his higher jump. Always liked Luigi. I'm not a Luigi hater. I was just annoyed by the whole year of Luigi and then Metroid kind of like not getting even a mention. But that's just me being sour. The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures and uh, another game that I got for free, I found downstairs and I've never played. Ooh, this one is interesting. This one was hard to come by, especially in the condition that it is. It's in immaculate condition. This is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, I originally had gotten this for the, for the Wii and I played it to a certain amount and then I got stuck in a certain area and I just gave up. I just gave up, and that happens to me a lot with the Legend of Zelda games. And this is a series, and this is a video that I plan to do in the future, uh, this is one of the series that I want to love, but for some reason it's just so hard for me to get into. And I've only played through Orcarina of Time on the 3DS, I think simply purely out of obligation. But it's a great game, don't get me wrong, and I'm playing through the Wind Waker HD right now as we speak, and I'm also playing through Twilight Princess. I loved Hyrule Warriors, but that doesn't really count, does it? So anyways, got Majora's Mask on the 3DS as well. I have all these Zelda games, and I've not finished any but Ocarina of Time. So hopefully I'm going to change that with the GameCube version of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and I'm hoping... I'm gonna get into this better with standard controls because the Wii version was plagued by Enough already! Alright, moving on. Mario Kart Double Dash. This is the one Mario Kart that I never actually owned! And that's a funny story because I actually wanted this game for Christmas, the Christmas that it came out. And unfortunately, it was sold out everywhere, apparently, and my sister wasn't able to get her hands on it. So, I played it through my brother-in-law's copy, and I played the demo, but I never actually owned it up until now. And now that I have it, I must say that it's very fun, and the controls just take a lot of getting used to, considering that the most recent Mario Karts feel so tight by comparison. I mean, the, the controls for this feel a lot tighter than N64 version. Mario Party 7, Mario Superstar Baseball, Mario Golf Total Tour. I loved it, this playing this game when it came out. I rented it, I borrowed it from my brother-in-law. It's fantastic. I love the multiplayer and taunting all the other players. It's a great game. I love Camelot's sports games. Speaking of which, I loved Mario Power Tennis just as much. And I played this one on the Wii first, and I was like, you know what? I really want to play this on the GameCube, where it originally came out. And this is the one of the better sports games. Definitely better, I think, than Mario Tennis Open, which, in my opinion, was a big disappointment. Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, great remake. I loved it, this game. It was very, very hard to come by when I got it, but luckily I did when I still at GameStop. Metroid Prime, more on this another time. 
definitely one of my favorite games of all time on the GameCube. Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Now, the only reason why I have this, and I hate these kind of compilation games because I feel that they're emulated badly or they're just kind of crappy in general. The only reason why I have this is for a simple reason, Primal Rage. Paper Mario at the Thousand Year Door, I have two copies of. No case. I wonder what's in there. Pikmin. This is the original Pikmin. I'm still looking for a case and a manual for it. But I managed to get the GameCube version, which is really rare nowadays, of Pikmin 2. And this came in immaculate condition once again. Great condition. I'm so happy to have this. And I've been playing a little bit through it, but I want to be the first one before I get into this one. Because I loved Pikmin 3. And they just announced Pikmin 4. Woohoo! I can't wait for that. Pokemon Channel. Probably one of the most underrated games in the Pokemon series. Oh, not the main series, but the spin-off series. You know, a lot of people give this game shit. This is like the spiritual successor to Pay You Pikachu. And in my opinion, I love this game. Holy hell, this video is way too long. So in that case, we're gonna go through an alphabetical order once again and go down the list of the remaining games. Product number three, Rampage, Total Destruction. Ridge, uh, I think this is uh, R Racing Evolution, or Ridge Racing Revolution. Uh, uh, Revolution, god damn it, whatever. Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4. Skies of Arcadia Legends, Sonic Adventure Director's Cut DX, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and Sonic Mega Collection. I could thank Turtle Bird for these three. Thank you very much, Bird Brain. Star Fox Adventures. Star Fox Assault, Star Wars Rogue Leader, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3, Rebel Strike, both great games, Super Mario Strikers, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, of course, Tales of Symphonia, Time Splitters 2, Torok Evolution, I need to get the damn case for that game, Beautiful Joe 2, Wario World, another game that really surprised me, I'm really enjoying that one. WrestleMania 18, WrestleMania 19, WrestleMania Day of, no, sorry, WWE Day of Reckoning and Day of Reckoning 2. So there you have it. All the GameCube games. Anyways, well guys, thanks for tuning in once again. I hope you enjoyed this GameCube video collection update. Now, like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see any videos for any of the games that I showed off today. If you're interested, let me know. I'll do a gameplay video on it and commentary. So please do let me know what you're interested in seeing. And are there any GameCube games that I missed or seem to be missing? Because I have a couple of Kadam coming in soon. Uh, I think I'm getting the Super Monkey Ball 2. And I also ordered Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD. And those will be coming in shortly. When I get them, I'll probably do a video on them. Turtle Bird still has to sell me some games. Um, I'm just trying to gather the funds for those. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comments any GameCube games you think I would enjoy that I probably missed. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.